right, good Monday morning, everybody. I know it's a little late, but uh, I slept in. I'm here in Elko, actually. I'm here on some uh, a vocation business. And uh, boy, I slept in. So uh, thank you, Elko. I guess I apparently needed that. Our, our gospel today, uh, on this feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So happy feast day to our Carmelites. But the gospel day is from 10, cha Matthew chapter 10, verses 34, all the way through 11, verse, chapter 11, verse 1. One, and it's a complicated, I think, uh, a bit disconcerting segment from our gospel. Jesus is talking about conflict. I have to look at my phone here. And he talks about he didn't come to bring peace; he came to bring the sword. Now, and he talks about all the disagreements are going to happen or the fights. Now. What does this mean? Does Jesus mean to incite violence? No. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jesus, how I, what it informs me, is that Jesus knows the human heart pretty well. And he knows how we like to fight. And how do we like to fight? Because our ego is getting away. We fight over egos. We will fight over Jesus. And of course, that's come true. You know, each of us, somebody will claim that I have the truth. And then when someone else has something that's a little bit different, then there's a conflict. Uh, so when we have conflicts in our faith, I think the first thing we have to do is look at our ego. And I'm pretty sure it's involved. You know, I've had to face that, still face that all the time. I'm um, like, okay, Bob, is this a matter of, as we joke around, is this a matter of salvation or is this a matter of, okay, and 99.99 okay, when I'm getting upset. So I think when we feel uh, that conflict, that anger towards someone, especially when it comes to faith, that's when you need to sit back and uh, probably do a little bit of sermon work, okay? And then we can find the peace through that. All right, guys, so I will return to Reno tomorrow night. So uh, I'll see you about tomorrow, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.